In this video, I'm going to show you how WordPress child themes work. So the first thing you want to do is log into your WordPress admin area and go down to Appearance and click Themes. And here you'll see your available themes and some of them are parent themes and uh, you may even have a child theme or two. But the difference is um, a parent theme is a fully functional self-contained theme and a child theme in its simplest form is just a folder with one file in it, a style sheet. And what it does is it imports all of the um, all of the styles and all of the functions and everything from the parent theme, and it just is a place where you can make changes without getting overwritten when you update your parent theme. So, for example, we're using FitPro Platinum 1.1, and if we were to make changes to the files in FitPro Platinum 1.1, then whenever we updated to 1.2, all of our changes would be deleted and erased, and we would have to start all over again. So that's really inconvenient because you want to be able to update your themes for security and for all the new features and everything like that. So what we do is that we make our changes in a child theme. So a child theme is basically just a folder with one style.css file in it in its simplest form. And there can be lots more than this, but this is a start. So what you want to do to create a child theme is just create a folder, give it a name, and put a text file in here and name it style.css and you want to put in the descriptive text that WordPress requires for themes so you need the theme name you need the URL for the theme and you can add in a description and author if you want but the most important line for a child theme is this one right here which is template and then you have your the name of the parent theme folder with no with that's case sensitive and needs to be exactly the name of the of the uh, folder. So in our case, it's FitPro Platinum with no uppercase or anything. And the next thing that you want to do is this line is very important. You have to use the at import rule to import your style sheet from the main theme folder. And so, say we were going to use 2010 theme, then um, and make a child theme for that. Then we'd basically just put 2010 here and that would get the style.css folder from there and under template you would just put 2010 so but in our case we're going to do fitpro platinum so we imported the style uh, style sheet from fitpro platinum and then we have some edits that we did here to the css which are the things that we want to change but we don't want them to be overwritten so go ahead and upload this folder this child theme folder to your WordPress admin area and um, there's two ways to do this. You can either zip this folder and do it via the WordPress theme uploader which you go to install themes and click the blue upload button and then find the file in your computer or you can FTP it up if you know how to do that. So once you have your child theme uploaded you're going to go and find your child theme. In our case it is right here so you can see that we named it FitPro Child, and it also it says that it tells you where the template themes are, and then the style sheet is here in FitPro Platinum Child. So that just tells you that it's the correct one that we're working with. So we're going to go ahead and activate that. Now, when you activate it, you'll see that um, I just refreshed it, and we it looks exactly the same as the parent theme because you're using all the functions, all the styles, and everything from the parent theme. And the only thing that we're changing are the edits that we make in the style sheet. So if you wanted to make any edits to the CSS, you go under Appearance, go down to Editor, and you would see your child theme style sheet right here. And so say if we wanted to change the text, the, the font, we could say change it to Courier. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but we could and then go ahead and update the file go out to your site and click refresh and you'll see that we now have this really ugly courier font here so that's just one example but um, and f you can also change widths you can change colors you can do all kinds of stuff with this but a child theme is where you want to make the edits to your site so that you don't get overwritten when you update your parent theme so that's it for child themes and i will see you in the next video